Hello and welcome to Board Progression. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the 2018 Burton Process Off Axis. I'm really excited to be getting this board. It's brand new, it's still in the box. I'm going to unbox it for you guys and tell you about my first impressions. A uh, big shout out to a friend of mine, you know who you are. Um, he hooked me up with a huge deal on the board, so I'm really thrilled about that. My current board was a forum, yes, forum, so that tells you how long I've been riding it. Freestyle twin tip and traditional camber, all that stuff, but uh, it's like probably 10 years old at least now. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Snowboard bag can and should be recycled. Kudos to Burton. Oh, yeah. And she is. Beautiful. This deck design is so nice. I love the colors the black, and gray, and red, and the white. Looks awesome. This action pack process is designed around the park rider stands for the ultimate in pop, flex, and control. This is the Burton process off axis, which Burton describes as their high end park specific board. Uh, all their team riders ride it when they're riding park. This is straight from Burton's website. The process off-axis aligns key tech with the typical park rider stance to unleash the board's natural flex, edge hold, and landing control. Squeeze box core profiling energizes the board without sacrificing stability, while pure pop camber amplifies ollies and loosens up the overall feel for a more playful take on traditional camber. Softer flexing than the custom, the process off axis is a park rider's secret weapon. So it's softer than the custom, it's going to be a little more flexible, a little more playful. Um, that's great for butters and presses and stuff like that. Um, but it does have traditional camber in between the contact points and then just outside of the contact points um, it's flat until the tail and the nose. It is a true twin tip. Both the tail and the nose are identical. The only thing that's asymmetrical about it and why they call it off axis is the heel side and the toe side edges are different. So whether you ride goofy or regular, you're going to be mounting your bindings exactly the same on the board. You don't want to rotate the bindings the opposite direction at all. And the reason for that is they say that your toe side edge and your heel side edge engage a little bit differently. So they've made the toe side edge different from the heel side edge. They also have what's called frostbite edges, which means the toe side edge and the heel side edge protrude slightly, just a tiny bit, right where your toes are and where your heels are to give you a little bit more bite or a little bit more grip. In addition to that, they figure the typical park rider stands duck footed, which is about 15 degrees and negative 15 degrees. The core is designed with that in mind. I ride about 15 in the front and negative 12 in the back. So close enough, pretty much the same. It's got triax fiberglass and a centered base. The centered base will be faster than an extruded base, but that means you gotta keep on top of your waxing. It's got Burton's three year warranty. Hopefully I won't need that warranty and hopefully it'll last longer than three years. As far as sizing goes, I went with the 152. I wear a size 10 and a half boot, but I personally don't like to look at just boot size. I like to look at my height and my weight. I weigh about 150 to 155, and my height is 5'7. And a 152 comes up to like right about here on me. So for me, a 152 is perfect. Personally, I like a little bit of a shorter board, especially with 
park riding. It's stable enough, but it's still easy to maneuver. All right, so my first impressions are very good. Um, it looks awesome. I love the side cut. I love the top sheet. I love the weight of it. It feels really light. Um, just from initial impressions, it feels like it's got good flex, but not too much. Obviously, once I get on snow, I'll be able to tell better how it actually performs. But um, I'm very excited about it. I'm going to set it up with some uh, 2018 Malavitas for bindings. Um, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be in another video. But uh, yeah, first impressions are really good. So that's just my first initial thoughts of the process off axis. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I'm gonna do more videos talking about the board as soon as the season starts and I can actually get on snow with it. I'm also gonna be doing a review of some Burton Malavita EST bindings, the 2018 versions. Look out for that video, it should be coming out really soon too. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time. It's snowing. This is the first snow of the year and it's early December. It never snows in December here in Baltimore. Not much is accumulating, but it's still beautiful nonetheless.